Hello everyone, this is Tanya with TK Sewing Machine and Repair, and today I have a um, a new home treadle machine, a treadle that was made into a um, into a hand crank, and so it has an original hand crank. Well, I say original; it is a vintage hand crank. It's not a new one. Uh, this is just a beautiful machine. Look at it. The decals are in really good shape. Uh, it's missing some paint. It's got some chips. But I think it was made around 1886. It's really hard to uh, date this machine. But looking at similar models um, that were made by New Home, I'm pretty sure that's about the right uh, date range. Uh, this machine also has a coffin top. Let me get it. And the coffin top is in pretty good shape. It's the uh, varnish is uh, flaking off on one side, and um, it has all of its emblems on it. They could be re-glued down, but it is in really, really nice shape for its age. And like I said when I started, this machine was a treadle. And you can tell it was a treadle because it has the two holes right here for the uh, treadle belt. And so what I suspect was done is that they used the part of the original top of the treadle base and made this uh, portable base for this machine and added uh, the hand crank. And so you have a nice little drawer and there are a couple of extra binding feet. I will add uh, a set of um, feet to go with this machine, too. I have all kinds of, um, of these. I think they're called top. I think they're called a top foot, something like that. Uh, it takes a rotary needle. They can be found. It's a Boyd needle. Um, I just happen to have uh, a few of them, um, you know, in my stash. So I was able to uh, put a, a needle in this machine. I have the bobbin loaded in here uh, to wind the bobbin. I was demonstrating for a uh, TikTok video. So you put your spool of thread here, wind it around, go through both of these thread guides, and it's come out of this thread guide right here. And you just start, push this up against here. It's hard to do on the turntable. And just start hand cranking it. So that's how you wind the bobbin. Take the bobbin out of the bobbin assembly and there's the shuttle. So the bobbin goes in with the thread coming across the top counterclockwise. You insert the bobbin in here and pull the thread down and then pull it up over that little metal tab that's on the uh, shuttle. And then just, there's a little groove right here that goes in the little tab, and you just set the bobbin in. <clears throat> to thread the machine, uh, the thread comes around the front. This is your tension right here, is right here on top. And there's a little slot up here. And get the thread into that slot and into the hole. Always get it caught up on the back side here. I know there's probably a trick to doing this that I have not discovered yet.
And I swear I do it a lot easier before I start rolling tape. There we go. And so then pull your thread and there's a guide right here. The thread goes underneath the guide. There are um, slot right here. The thread goes in the slot on top of the needle bar. And then um, goes back behind this loop and then you take your finger and pull the thread and put it on this side of your uh, take-up lever. This is equivalent to the take-up lever that goes up and down on more modern machines. And then you thread the needle from left to right. Let's see if I can do it without getting close. Even with bifocals on, I have a hard time seeing. So to release the tension, pull some thread and then crank it to pick up the thread. And um, I've cleaned and oiled these uh, covers so they both, I say they come out easily, they come out easier than they normally do on these this type of machine. A lot of times with this type of machine, it's really hard to get those covers off. So take a piece of fabric, and this is the fabric that I was using to do all the testing of it. And lower the pressure foot and then just start cranking. It makes beautiful stitches. Now you don't have reverse. If you go in reverse, you're going to um, lock up you're going to make knots in your bobbin area, so you don't want to do that. So these are the stitches on top, and these are the stitches on the bottom. If I am shipping this machine, um, it's going to cost a little bit more than uh, normal shipping because I am not going to ship the machine with uh, the case. The, the uh, case, the, all the wooden parts are going to ship separately and the machine will be in another box. So you're going to be getting two packages if you uh, have me ship this machine. But she is a real looker, really nice looking machine. And it would be a stunner in anybody's collection. The decals are so nice on it. They remind me of um, the Tiffany decals on the Singer machine machines uh, of this era. Uh, the 115 has the Tiffany, what they call the Tiffany decals, and they're just beautiful. So if this machine ends up in your home, I hope you enjoy it.